Hello everyone, Lucky Knight here. We're going to be going on another Sky Saga adventure. And on this one we're going to be uh, doing another forestry mastery quest. And uh, the next one in the chain is called Tracing Blexham Steps. Uh, so, we need to head off to the Megalith. Go into our forest realm, and we're doing Retracing Blexham's Steps. Off through the portal we go on another s wonderful Sky Saga adventure. Well, that's quite pretty. The sun over the water. Uh, I like this one better, I think. Alright, so Peregrine Wayfinder, the Explorer Questmaster, tells us through the far holler. According to the letter you found on the Bones of Cross, someone called Blexham arranged to have a Death Amber hidden in a fortified town somewhere near here. They were in a desperate hurry and hid it in a barrel deep underground. A barrel. Got it. Alright, so we're looking for a barrel deep underground. Search for the fortified town. Well, that looks like something pretty well fortified. And there it is, the fortified town. Find a way under the fortified town, okay? So there must be some type of a main entrance somewhere. A bit laggy there. Okay, so this looks like something. Or nothing. Hmm. Okay, here we go. And so you find the entrance to the fortified town. It is this drawbridge structure. Go through the wide doors. Greeted by some raw bones immediately, of course. Duck, dodge, and cover. The usual strategy. Oh man, those guys are quick. There we go. Dispatch those raw bones. Got one little fella that decided to stay behind. Another guy around the corner trying to sneak up on us. I don't think so. Okay, so we have to find a way under the fortified town. I think we should use this time to eat some of our little mushrooms. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Get some health back. So, I don't think that I want to... Ooh! Man, these guys are everywhere. There we go. I don't think that I want to try to find any way to go up any higher. Because it does ask to find a way under the fortified town. But maybe we're going to have to go up to get down. Got to, got to go up to get down. Uh, hmm.
raw bones around every corner lurking quite literally even go. So many different raw bones. Oh! We need to get out of here. There we go. We got surrounded. That was very bad. So now we have to be very cautious as we're low on the health. Sneak a little bite to eat. Recover some of our health. Okay, that should be good. like a balcony that doesn't lead anywhere. That looks like something interesting. This looks pretty promising, actually. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. A medium money chest? Alright. So this is... Just a balcony. Not what we're looking for. That's okay. We'll continue our search. Maybe we'll head this way. It goes up to another balcony-ish tower. However, this one seems like it's situated kind of in the center. Uh, hmm. But it doesn't appear to be where we need to go. This is tricky, tricky. So this particular building looks pretty interesting, all on its own. Okay. Hmm. I need to find a way. I believe this is the way we came. Ooh, okay, so maybe we do need to travel upstairs. Nothing here. Ooh. We need to find a way under the city. I haven't gone in here yet. Just another balcony. Now I think I'm seeing something over this way. Oh, okay, so, I did venture in here, and I came to a dead end, but I did not go up here, and there's nothing here. Okay, we must have been on the right path. Tempted to just jump down there and start digging. Okay, so this was a dead end. Dead end. And this led us here, which did not give us any further options. did allow us to go up
Let's uh let's carve a little path into this room here. Now you see this looks like the main entrance, and it is. Looks like all of the raw bones have uh, respawned. And we still are unsure of the path we need to take. At least these guys fall fairly easily. Oh, okay. We haven't gone up here yet. Although, I believe this is just another balcony, which it is. I feel like that is the place we need to be getting to. Here, right? Is that up there? That's where I want to go, is up there somehow. Interesting, interesting. And I don't see anything that leads up there from here, or from here. Or from here. There must be some kind of trick here. Oh! Of course! We didn't try to go this way yet. And look at that. And we have found an underground passage. Lovely. Peregrine Wayfinder calls us and he says, I have dire tidings. I just received a distress call from Akito, one of Agnes's team. They were looking for the final Death Amber and, well, his call was interrupted before he could let me know exactly what had happened. I'm so worried. I'll find them. Alright, so now it became a, a Death Amber mission into a rescue mission. We have to find our fellow teammate. He is in danger. Starting to get quite dark and precarious looking down the further I delve down into this tower passage. Into the cellars. Met with the rawbone butcher. Those guys have very, very fast attack speed, so make sure you're on your toes and dodging. Okay, come to uh, the door here. And a campfire. We'll smite this rawbone down. And his little buddy, the stalker. And we'll use this campfire to set our checkpoint in case anything should happen. Take the ladder down. And another ladder down. Look around. They are around every corner. Be on your toes. Looks like we found some kind of secret chamber. It's the secret guild room. That's pretty cool. I wonder what guild 
the secret chamber belongs to. Okay, so... Do we go up, or do we go into the doors? I guess we'll clear out these raw bones. Get out of here. Yeah! And we are getting so many fabled forest essences. Okay, the upstairs definitely has some kind of a peculiar light in there. Brazier. Uh, a chest it looks like. Money chest. And... That leads to another ladder. And down we go. Okay. Run? Get out of here. can't almost tell what's going on in this tight corridor. Whoa, look at that sword! Oh, that is exciting. 222 damage. It's not quite as strong as our mace, but it does have a quicker attack speed. Oh! <clears throat> Plus it looks really cool! That is very cool looking. I'm excited to find a pattern for that so I can customize the colors. Alright, let's continue on with our new sword. This is exciting. Okay, I think I came from that way. Alright, so we want to go this way. It's kind of a labyrinth built down here. Okay, so we found the main storage area. Uh, I think we just want to pass on through here. continue on our merry little way. Uh, the first ladder that leads up that we've come to... And back down. Man, this is confusing. Easy to get turned around. Oh, another checkpoint. Let's take a little rest before we continue on with our adventure. Perfect. The end chamber. Alright, let's see what's behind these doors. Here we go. Oh, be careful. I do see an archer on the side. I want to get over there and take him out as quickly as possible. Oh, the sword attack is simply devastating. <clears throat> Even this, though the sword does do um, a little bit less damage, it is faster, and its power attack is a lot stronger than that mace. Because I actually get three strikes with it, and it just about one shot that boss. So if you're having any questions or concerns about that mace or the, the sword when you come across the fabled forest sword, I think I would definitely go with the sword. And then we're supposed to search some barrels. So we'll check out the chest. Uh, leather strap. Some odds and ends. But we need to take a look at all these barrels. So let's start hacking into these. Look at that. There's our death amber. Bingo, bingo. Uh, so now our quest is complete and we can return home. Fantastic. So let's head back to the City of First Light and deliver our fractured death amber to Peregrine Wayfinder. So it was only a piece of what we were looking for. And that is unfortunate. <clears throat> but I wonder if they separated it um, to keep it from falling into the wrong hands. 
we'll find out more as we unlock more of the story. This is starting to get pretty, uh, pretty interesting. However, the other thing is, we didn't find Agnes's agent that was supposed to be down there. So that's a little concerning, right? Alright, Paragon, here is the Death Amber. Uh, at least a fraction of it. So now we need to equip a full set of Fabled Forest Armor before we can go on to our next journey. Now... Okay, so we need some feet armor and some hand armor. Did we get any recipes? I didn't remember. I didn't see getting anything. And I don't see any recipes either. Interesting. How are we going to go about collecting these other pieces of armor? Oh, you know what? Well, let's check the mailbox. Yes, okay. Alright, so, I didn't have enough inventory space to accept those, so they sent them to my mailbox instead. So we got a shield and some boots, that's fantastic. And a bone breaker mace. Oh, we don't have enough room in our inventory to accept it. Suppose we can learn these recipes. I'm excited about that new shield. There we go. For achieving our rank 10 in Bone Breaker, we get the Bone Breaker Fabled Mace. Pretty cool. 230 damage. Um, but it is a little slower, but it, look at how much uh, uh, damage it does to raw bones. 101 plus damage to raw bones. And 217 defense against raw bones. So um, that might be a, a serious consideration as we have been battling almost entirely raw bones as we've gone through all of these forest mastery quests. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching. I hope that uh, this helped you guys along your forestry mastery quest line. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see the next video in the series as soon as it comes out, subscribe below and you'll have access to it as soon as it comes out. Thanks again for watching, guys.